Okay, guys, this is for assignment 6-1, which is the first part of sixth grade DBQ focusing on Robert Frost. The cartoon that you see is an example of what a metaphor is. Now, if you look at the picture, the patient has a knife in his back. Now, obviously, if it was a real patient with a real knife, he wouldn't be sitting across the desk from the doctor. He'd be in an emergency room. So you know that it's not something that's meant to be taken literally. When you take something literally, you're taking it word for word. When you take something figuratively, then you're looking at more than just the words on the page. You're looking for information, kind of reading between the lines, looking at um, details and explanations that go beyond just regular language. Now, most of us have heard the expression that um, somebody stabbed me in the back. And we understand that that expression means that somebody betrayed you or did something without your knowledge that hurt you or that violated your trust. So what this metaphor is showing is a guy who has been stabbed in the back sitting at a doctor's office. He finds out it's not a real stabbing in the back, that it's just a metaphor. The reason that writers use metaphors is because it helps make things more interesting it helps add greater detail. It gives you a more emotional punch. Um, there's a big difference between saying that um, somebody hurt your feelings versus somebody stabbed you in the back. There's a difference between saying that you're angry versus having something like rage thundering through your blood. It helps the reader feel the intensity that the writer wants to express. So once you've looked at this cartoon, what you have to do is in Google Classroom, there is a form for you to answer these three questions at the bottom of the page. So number one, what's the patient's reason for visiting the doctor? Well, if you look at the picture, your answer is right here. Okay. And number two, what does the expression stabbed in the back mean? Well, I just explained that. And then number three, Using this cartoon as an example, explain the meaning of metaphor. In the Google form where you fill out your answers, please make sure that you use complete sentences and that you answer all parts of the question. Um, when I posted those questions in Google Classroom, I added some clarifying questions to the end of a couple of them. So make sure that you're responding to all parts of the question. And as always, if you have questions, please email, call, or text. Thanks.